What's up everybody, welcome back to the Cool Figures channel. If you're new, then welcome. This channel is all about cool action figures. Analyzing them, hunting them, taking pics of them, and of course, playing with them. I upload new content every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so check back on those days to see what I've uploaded, or just hit that bell icon to be notified. Because throughout 2021, guys, it is my goal to upload new content for you guys throughout the week, besides those three days. So make sure to hit that bell icon so you stay updated. And if at any point you're finding yourself enjoying it, please remember to hit that like button. It means the world to me, and it costs you absolutely nothing, and it only takes you a sec. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It is a very small goal of mine to try to reach at least one new subscriber per new video that I put out. So please, be my one new subscriber for this video. Thank you so much in advance. As always, the information on this channel is intended for adult collectors, not children. I am your host, Jason the Bat Magic Girl, aka the Buff Collector. And guys, before I get into this review, I just want to say thank you so much to you, all of you for 100 subscribers once again. If you haven't checked out my thank you video, I will link the card up above here. But as I said in that video, thank you so much to each and every single one of you. I really do appreciate it uh, because without you guys, I'd just be a grown adult talking to myself about toys. So thank you so much and I really appreciate each and every single one of you. So let's get right on into it. So today guys, I have for you the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Nightwing and Red Hood 2 pack. These guys are awesome. And despite this guy being a repack from you know the blue version, he is still an amazing figure and I have to say and admit that I did not care for him at, at all when I first bought this package, uh, this two pack. I only cared for Red Hood. That's the whole reason I bought this uh, set. And uh, But I'm actually kind of happy that this Nightwing came in because he actually turned out to be a really good figure. Um, but like I said, he is a repack of the blue uh, costume Nightwing that they had released in the build a Batmobile wave with Batgirl and the Batman who laughs so it is that old uh, McFarlane plastic and that's one thing I want to get to in this review is the Red Hood is a new figure and it is more uh, updated in terms of the plastic quality so I have to admit that um, they're finally going in that direction that I've been complaining about them not going in uh, you know I'm always saying the one gripe from cool figures here is that McFarlane toys use this really cheap uh, hollow plastic and it sucks and they really need to step it up well I don't know if they you know they didn't put as much money into the quality of the plastic at first because they wanted to see if people would buy the line and they didn't want to waste too much money on it or someone from McFarlane toys actually watches these videos um, I highly doubt the latter of those two um, but they are finally doing what I want, which is actually giving us figures that are worth the price we pay and that feel like actual figures from an actual big name toy company like Hasbro. Um, I've stated before in the past reviews of these multiverse figures that they felt very cheap and hollow and kind of somewhat like knockoff figures that you would find in a swap meet or something. Uh, and now they are definitely moving into that. Yes, this is a figure from a name brand manufacturer, not, you know, some knockoff vendor that took that brand and made their own so they can make a quick buck. And I am super happy about it, so I will go more in depth with that once we actually go looking at the Red Hood figure individually. But before we can look at the figures, guys, we of course have to see what these figures come with. And the first thing that they come with is, of course, a trading card nice see uh, that's the joys of uh, you know action figures right guys they're like dominoes you tap them and they fall thankfully they're not giving me an issue of standing up again <laughs> but anyways guys let's try this again the first one is uh, Nightwing right here and I'll explain why I'm holding it sideways like this and that's the reason why I tipped the gun on Red Hood um, this is I believe the same image that they released with the blue suited Nightwing, just, you know, with the blue suit. Um, but this one is definitely different because it is a metallic, shiny uh, paper type card. And that's why I can't hold it straight up right here because it's not catching the light and you can't see it. But if I turn it sideways, you can actually see the whole image. So that's the front image. And here's the back. I'll give you guys a sec to screen grab that if you want to read it. And then of course, it came with a red hood trading card so yeah and also, also this one's pretty shiny uh, it's the same material as well here's the back if you guys want to look at that and screen grab it all right and of course 
they each come with their own stand. So besides those things, they come with a pair of weapons. Um, both of them are identical to each uh, figure. So Nightwing comes with a pair of, uh, I guess, batons or electrified sticks, like they are in the comic, but you know they're not really here. Um, they're pretty plain. You had some kind of gripping texture down here, but besides that, they <laughs> just look like a normal baton. Um, and these are made of like that soft plastic so it, they are super bendy especially since in the box they fit these things to fit the box opposed to fitting the box to the product so when it was in there it was like all bent so that it would fit in the box instead of them designing a box that would you know fit the shape of this they I think they measured wrong and they were like well it bends right <laughs> Um, so yeah, I can I we still have a gripe on that here at the cool figures channel because even the new Deathstroke uh, His sword is super bendy and stuff and I, I would like to see them making the the weapons like this made out of a little harder plastic Just like they are the bodies finally um, But he does come with a second one So you get a pair of them and they both do attach to the back of his uh, Costume through the hooks. I will show you later when we actually take a closer look at him and but next we will look at Red Hood's accessory, which is a handgun. Oops, let's see if we can get him to stand again. There we go. Oh. Yeah, he just doesn't want to stand right now. That's the one thing I did notice about these figures, guys, is they are kind of a little hard to balance. Uh, not only here, but also when I was taking pics of them. Uh, it's just... I don't know these figures, but um, they are very articulate, articulate, and that being said, you can actually just really mess with them and get them to stand, but it takes some tinkering just to balance them out a bit. But anyways guys, let's go ahead and take a look at Red Hood's accessory, and his is, of course, a handgun. He gets a pair of these, and this is actually a really cool handgun because that bat symbol you see right there is actually raised. So that's a really cool detail on there. Um, I really just wish they would have hit it with a little bit of dry brush. Um, but other than that, it's it's really nice. Um, a lot nicer than uh, you know this plain black baton. And the plastic is a little harder on these, so they don't bend as much as they don't give. Uh, but yeah, guys, so that's all the accessories they come with. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at Nightwing first. And let's look at his articulation. So since I don't have a review of the first Nightwing on here, uh, I'll go ahead and go into an in-depth review despite him being an older figure. So he can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. He can look down that much, he can look up that much, and there goes Red Hood. Come on, buddy. There we go. And now looking at his arm articulation, it goes out all the way to there. You do get shoulder rotation as well as a butterfly joint right there and you get bicep rotation at the top. You get double hinge elbow joints, which work very well. And then you get the ball, joint, ball jointed wrist, uh, so you can rotate and uh, go in and out or up and down in any direction. You do get uh, uh, rotation at the chest and at the waist, two separate parts. Um, no real good ab crunch down, but he can bend back significantly like that. So that's a good, Thing, especially for him since he's an acrobat you can have him doing like backflips and whatnot um, but looking at his leg articulation he kicks out that far and he kicks out that far kicks back this far the reason he can move so freely on his legs is because this piece right here is actually very it's detached from the suit and it's a softer pliable plastic it's not a hard plastic that you can't you know push and bend a bit so the legs um, allow it to move a lot more freer. Uh, he does come with double hinge knee joint, which work very well as well. Here's a look at the hooks right here where the batons go into. And then he has ankle articulation, which goes down that much, up that much, as well as a ball rocker joint for rotation of the ankle, and of course the toe articulation. So that's why I was saying that this guy is really good because he has nothing really hindering any of the joints, and all the joints work really well. Um, I just wish I could use them for a lot more toy photography, but like I, I said, um, I just didn't really care for this figure at first because 
I personally don't care for the Bat Family. Um, I'm more of a, just a straight up Batman fan. Um, so, yeah, I mean, but I'll be honest, if I had to pick one member of the Bat Family, I would pick Nightwing because at least he forges a, kind of somewhat of his own path from, you know, Batman and whatnot. You know, he went to Bloodhaven and did his own thing. And that's why I like Red Hood because not only is he, um, yes, he can be considered part of the Bat Family, but uh, at the same time, he was Batman's adversary and he did hate Batman for a time because he didn't kill the Joker for you know, essentially killing Jason Todd. Um, but anyways, guys, let's go ahead and look at Red Hood himself. So Red Hood, oh man, this figure is amazing and definitely became one of my favorite figures of this year already. Um, my favorite feature of this, and I'm sure you can tell already, is the shiny metallic paint that they use for the helmet. Um, they didn't go with the typical matte red like they did with the bat symbol right here on his chest. So it really stands out on this figure um, and it really shines really nice when it catches that light and it really photographs really well. Uh, this figure is just, man, just look at him. He just looks really cool. And the head actually just, oh man, the head, I, just, I keep going back to the head because it is just so well done in my opinion. Uh, but just the body and the sculpt and the jacket it, and everything is well done in my opinion. Um, so the bat symbol does go all the way there, it gets cut off there. Uh, so looking at his articulation, he can look all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Can't really look down too much, but he can look up straight, that's about it. But he looks up down that much. Um, his arms do go out this way, and they do rotate at the shoulder. Uh, you just have to guide him a bit. And the, he, is, he does have a butterfly joint as well, which is hidden um, perfectly by the jacket right here as well as bicep rotation up here at the top which is once again hidden amazingly by the fold in the jacket he also comes with double hinge elbow joints which work really well um, and he does have the wrist rotation but he is wearing gloves which go kind of up a little high on his forearms so you don't really really get that actual wrist like articulation in and out but you still get the rotation uh, once again, like the Nightwing, he does have ro uh, ab rotation at the top and at the bottom at the waist. He can crunch down that much, crunch back that much. He has nothing really stopping his legs, so he can kick out all the way there, kick back there. Once again, he has double hinge knees, which work amazingly. I hate when they get stuck, guys, because then it's like, what's the point of even having them? But I digress. Um, his ankles do get kind of stuck there going down and they're going up because of the pants and the shin guard that he has there but he does come with the rotation of the ankle and the ball rocker joint um, as well as the toe articulation so guys that is a look at these two figures um, what else can I say that I haven't said already but these guys are amazing um, I'm super happy to finally get them I really wasn't sure if I was gonna get them or when I would get them because first they were gonna come the first week of January and then they were gonna come the second week or the third week, the 16th. And then they said, no, the 26th. And so I was like, well, let's see if I even get them. And then all of a sudden I got a shipping notification that they'd be arriving. Uh, so it was an interesting situation getting these guys, but I'm super, super happy I finally got them. Um, so let's go ahead, check out some pics that I took of them and I'll be right back.
Alright guys, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video. If you enjoyed those picks, you can find the full images over at Cool Theories on Instagram. And if you did enjoy this video, please remember to hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. But whether or not you're a subscriber, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to listen to me talk about toys. I really do appreciate it, guys. As always, I'm your host, Jesse the Bat Girl, a.k.a. the Buff Collector. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.